Nick Kujarzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Start of the new week. We're in for push. Ready to go again. Ready to push. Ready to make this week better than the last week. Every time you start a new week, you've got to come in with the mindset. This week's going to be better than the last week. I'm going to get even better this week. Forget about everything you did last week. No one cares how hard you worked last week. It's meaningless. It's in the past now. What matters now is how hard you work this week in the present moment. Guys, before this video starts, join my online community, the Mendez Cartel. If you want to get in the greatest natural shape of your life, join my community. You have full access to all my programs and all the other features. Link in the description, only five bucks. All right, people, let's get to bloody work. Starting off with incline dumbbells. Let's go. Let's make this week the greatest week I've ever had. Come on. Another day in the yard, people. Let's bloody go, people. Seven reps. One up on last week. All right, back off set now. All right, next exercise, strict military press. I'm going to go up two and a half kilo. So I've added the 1.25 kilo plates to each side. Remember, guys, you don't have to progressively overload a lot each week. Like, a, like even like two and a half kilo each side, which is five kilo, is, is very ambitious, especially for guys that have been training a long time. Like, start using the 1.25 kilo plates. It's more ambitious. Sorry, it's more realistic progression like 1.25 kilo plates really help you progress and they're not used enough so i'm gonna go for a top set of three 87 and a half kilo i have done six sets of incline dumbbells already so i am a little cooked but hopefully i get this i got 85 last week and it was a bit of a struggle so see what i get now Miss Groove the second rep. Two reps, I'll take it. I'll take it. I might try it again, actually, but I'll take it. All right, going to give it another shot.
Yeah, definitely not getting three. If you miss groove on the first set, the likelihood of you then hitting it on the second set is pretty much zero to none. Because you, you've lost energy from that first set, so it's going to carry over to the second set and you just feel tired. All right, onto a machine press now. This is my go-to machine that I use in this gym. Love how it feels. I'm going to start really heavy, nearly doing the full stack. Well, not quite, but nearly. And just going to try and bang up some reps. Then I'll take some weight off and go do some more reps. Do some back offs after this. Come on. <sighs> Nice heavy set of eight. All right, cable fly time. My go-to with cable flies, again, another exercise I've kept in my rotation for a very long time. When I do these, I use fat grips. Just, I feel I get a better contraction, better stimulation of the chest when, when the grip's slightly thicker. I can really squeeze more. I really lean over when I do these as well, people. For me, I've said this many times, flies are more about contraction, not about going crazy heavy. Bloody burn this. Horrific. Horrific. We're doing any kind of fly, guys. It's all about squeeze and contraction. It's not about going heavy. Even the strongest of guys. You look at some of the biggest bodybuilders in the world and you look at how much they fly relative to how much they press. It's like they, they'll be pressing the 150 pound dumbbells and then they're cable flying like like a, a tiny bit of the stack because it's all about squeeze and contraction. All right, next exercise, people. We're on to seated dumbbell side laterals. I've said this about three billion times. You can't overtrain your side delts. Side delts are an exercise that are so important to having an aesthetic physique that just training them frequently and often with high volume is so important. So I put them in my training routine at multiple times throughout the week to make sure I'm hitting my side delts a lot and really getting a lot of volume in. They're so important for having an aesthetic physique, guys. So make sure you hit them hard. You, can, you cannot overtrain side delts, and I do them a lot. Seated dumbbell side laterals. Again, going real light here, not heavy. It's an exercise that's not a heavy exercise for side laterals, it's about control.
with you. Even those were a little bit heavy and I went really light there. Those are the 10 kilo dumbbells. Side laterals are not an exercise that requires a lot of weight to build big, big side delts. All right, we're on to triceps now. We're doing dumbbell skull crushes. My elbows have been hurting this whole week, this whole previous week. And I think it was from doing this exercise last week. But I'm no pussy. I'm no bitch. I work through pain. And even though it kind of hurts just warming up now with this exercise, I'm not going to stop doing an exercise because I feel a little pain. A lot of you guys stop doing exercises because you feel a little pain. You've got to push through that pain. So it does hurt my elbows a touch, but I'm tough. I'm willing to work through pain. I'm willing to fight through pain. So. Dumbbell skull crushes, start heavy, and then go light. All right, come on. Come on, let's go. Fight. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. I'm going to feel this. hit a PR when I didn't feel like doing the exercise because of pain. It just goes to show if you fight through pain, whether that's elbow pain or knee pain, and you say, you know what, it hurts a little bit, that's not enough of a reason to stop doing the exercise. A lot of you guys will, stop, will do squats, your knees start hurting a little bit, and then you never do squats again. Or you start deadlifting, your lower back starts hurting a little bit, and you never do deadlifts again. Some pain is inevitable, some pain is unavoidable and the more you work through that pain the stronger your connective tissue and bone density becomes and the less it appears <coughs> do not fear pain make the pain fear you all right i'm going to give a little physique update day, eight, day 89 into my bulk i'm weighing about 200 pounds so let's see how i'm looking at 200 let's see how my conditioning is holding at 200. my legs tend to be the leanest part of my body I'm not going to show my legs, but my legs, I, I carry no fat on my legs, so bear that in mind. To weigh 200 pounds at 5'9", and not even 5'9", like 5'8", and I might be 5'8", I'm not sure, but to weigh 200 pounds and look like this, with this conditioning, and be this lean at 200 pounds, is a good sign. I've never been this lean at 200. Oh. 
final exercise, finishing off with some tricep rope extensions to end the workout. Just high rep, high volume. Not going too heavy on those, just again about squeeze and contraction. I did the heavy stuff with the, the dumbbell skull crushes. The tricep rope extension is just a finisher, just to kill off my triceps and just end the workout off. And just, I'm just doing, I'm doing like five sets, just destroying my triceps. And that's the workout, guys. Seven exercises, quality first push session of the week done. Another day in the yard. Another day in the yard. The class work. Nick Ajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Guys, join the Mendez Cartel. Only five bucks a month. Link in the description. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And, and as always, people. Long live King Charles III. God bless. So Winston Churchill. All right, I'm going to sign off again because sometimes when you're saying Nick Kajalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel, and as always, long live King Charles III and God bless Winston Churchill, out loud, it can seem very weird and unusual. So there's a lot of people around me. So I wasn't saying it that loud, but in honor of Sir Winston and King Charles III, I have to say it loudly out of respect for who they are. So I'm going to redo the outro. Nick Hujalzi, the founder of the Mendez Cartel. Guys, join the Mendez Cartel. It's only five bucks a month. Link in the description. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Also in the description. And as always, long live King Charles III. And God bless Sir Winston Churchill.